these people need an introduction, then why the hell are you watching my show? I mean, really, honestly. So, what's going on with you? Well, we are just um, completed a song for the new upcoming movie called Night of the Demons, the 80s remake. Oh, terrific. That's a great classic. And also, at the same time when the movie is going to be re released, we will also be releasing our own new album. Oh, that is terrific. New music, new direction, and a little bit more evil. The more evil, the better, I, I feel. Oh, yes, most definitely. So what's the inspiration behind going the, the more evil route, like you really need inspiration for it? I think it's been like the past few years. It's like just writing songs that make me happy, and I hope will make you happy as well. Um, you know, most of our, our, like our song titles are like Black Cat. I was trying to keep in like a more movie oriented um, titles and just having a really good time with things instead of being like, oh, I'm very serious. I'm scary. Well, you can right. just be scary and be like, hey, I'm scary. Well, and that's one thing that, that on our program, The Darkest Hours, we try to show is that we're into this scene because it makes us happy, not because it makes us sad and, well, and it, it, miserable. It, it's like you, like you know that you're going to be this way for a very long time and you just didn't decide, oh, today I might be vampire. Next week <laughs> I'll be like prom queen. Next week, oh, I'm going to try this one out. But hopefully if the dark path is not what you choose, you'll find what will make you happy. And that's very true. Very well said. Well, thank you very much for taking... Oh, oh actually, one last question. Huh. Uh, this, you've been around for quite different... <laughs> thousands many, uh, uh, thousands. thousands of years. That's not what I meant. But yeah, you, you've seen different sides of the scene over the years. Uh, and yes. What do you feel it's like now? I mean, is it, is it moving in a positive direction? Is it kind of uh, disappearing? I think in the next two years, there's going to be another renaissance going on with music, especially in the gothic death rock realm. But I think it's going to go all over all the genres. It's just everyone's waiting for the, ne the next big thing to happen. And I think with the bands that are out there right now, we have a good chance of it happening pretty soon. It's just going to be patient, children. Be patient. We're so impatient <laughs> these days. Well, with all the media around us constantly, if we don't have our iPhones or our M-Pods or our, our thingamabobs with us, you know, we go crazy, I, I suppose. Yes. I live in a moldy old mansion. I'm lucky to have a microphone and a camera. I so. know. I'm very surprised you do have a microphone. <laughs> Where did you steal that from? <laughs> <clears throat> it was a nameless grave. The freshly laid kind. That's why the batteries are still good. Sweet. Yay. So any clothing, clothes, clothing, closing words you'd like to give to the freaks at home? Well, since you can't be here at Bangoria Weekend of Horror, everyone out there have a very, very delightful time. And do try to find your dark path or whatever okay. will suit you. your fancy. Ta-ta, kitties. Until we meet again, maybe on the other side. 